So the next editor I'll show you in Celtics is the audio play editor. And to create this, just like everything else, I'm going to go to add, and then it's our, our last script option here. And there we go, there's the audio play. And what this is, is it's for like an old fashioned like radio play, um, back, you know, back when there was no TV, that kind of thing. Uh, you could also think of it more like a more modern version. Um, it could be an audio podcast. So probably not as typical as the other script options like screenplay, stage play, and AV script because video is not involved. But it's still it's available in Celtics, and I'll show you how to use it. So it sets us up for scene one, and then here are our actions. We have a scene heading, production note, character, dialogue, parenthetical, sound, voice, and music. I said actions, I meant our kind of formatting here. You can see we're on production note, and I mean, if you've written a, an audio play before, you know what should be here. I've never really messed with it, but um, maybe you set, set the scene a little bit in your production notes, and then you can go set up your characters and then dialogues. Of course, after that's going to be parenthetical, and then you can do sound, voice, and music, which will also be very important for an audio play. And it's going to work just like the other, um, the other screenplay editors and those other editors that return is going to take me up this, this line to backwards, um, and tab is going to push me forwards um, down this list. When I'm here, I also could just select right away. You see it put me straight to character. And then all the other options are the same. The toolbar is the same. I can still add production items. And my scenes still show up on my little scenes toolbar here. It's also the same down here. We've got typeset, index cards, title page, cast, and reports. So that is how you use the audio play editor in Celtics.